All right, what we have here is the uh, Venus Optics uh, Laowa uh, 100 millimeter f2.8 2x magnification macro lens. That is a mouthful right there. And I'm gonna do the unboxing here. Uh, my buddy Jordan Renart is going to help us with the video production. So check it out. You know, Hanukkah came early. <laughs> can never open a box. Yes. All right. Let's see how this looks. Bam! Oh shit! Venus. And this is uh, this one specifically has the uh, FE mount because we're both Sony shooters. So, let's see how this is here. Nice. Ooh, fine package. Now, if you're wondering where I got mine, I got mine at Amazon.com. I want to say it was like 450 bucks, and then with tax and free shipping, it was close to like 500. All right, this is nice. Look at that. When you zoom in and out. Okay. What's the zoom range? Uh, that's a good question. Well, I, I believe it can go to infinity, so you can use it as a portrait lens. Um, but then it can go up to 2x magnif magnification versus the Sony 90 millimeter lens. Macro lens is only a one-to-one -one magnification. This is a two-to-one for half the price, except it's only manual focus, which I hear is much better to do than autofocus when you're dealing with very, uh, short um depths of field so yeah curious to try it out look at this puppy this feels solid this is all metal construction there's bugs flying in my ears <laughs> i am more to come soon with shots and edited photos hell yeah <laughs> this whole thing turned into like a uh production yeah <laughs> <laughs> So today while I'm playing around, I'm going to be using the uh, Sony a7R2, the R2 wireless transmitter by Flashpoint, and then the uh, V860 2S, which is actually by Godox. It still works. It's the same company, just rebranded. And it's just a speed light with a MagMod uh, diffuser on there, just to soften some of the light. Uh, I like to shoot wirelessly so that I can actually change the direction from where the light is coming from. And uh, yeah, just follow along. And I really have never used this, so I don't know completely what I'm doing, but it should be fun. I like the design of this right here. It looks really cool. It might look cool while it's uh, composed in the frame of my camera. See how the texture of my khakis show up in camera. Here we have a cigarette bud that I put on this park bench. Um, I have a feeling this is going to look really cool in detail when I take the picture up close. So I found a spot under this tree. Uh, there's just some nice shadows. And uh, <laughs> I don't know what this thing is right here, but it almost looks like a little branch suspended in the air by some webs. Here, I'll turn the camera around so you can see. See that? Now check this out. So nobody really thinks to shoot a portrait of an outdoor garbage can, but I'm looking at it at a much closer level and I'm thinking how cool would this plastic with condensation look at the macro photography level. So I set the lens at two to one magnification. I aim the light to the left and take a look at the results.
loving all these three leaf clovers. I haven't found a four leaf. But I've got the light right there. And I've got it set to one half magnification, not even one to one. Let's see what I can get here. Okay, so what's my conclusion after using the Laowa 2X magnification 100 macro f2.8 lens? This thing is a beast. In my opinion, this thing is awesome for the money. You really can't beat $450 for a two times magnification macro lens for Sony. I, I really love this thing and I think that I'm gonna put this to good use. I highly recommend it so far and I really look forward to shooting more macro photography shots with it. I think it would be amazing to um, do some video in the studio with well um, with good light and um, yeah, just stay tuned. Look forward to uh, displaying more more shots and video with you guys. All right, thanks for watching. Take care.